it's Megan Mormon. I'm an artist and I live right now in Lethbridge, Alberta. Uh, the name of the piece that uh, we're installing right now at the TD Bank uh, on Hamilton uh, is called Here and There. Um, and it's a lenticular digital print. Um, I think most people recognize them when they see them, but don't necessarily know the word lenticular. Um, you might have seen them on uh, religious iconography, on children's toys, um, on cereal boxes. Um, so the lenticular prints that I make, um, they're kind of a sandwich with uh, a digital image adhesive and then a sheet of lenticular film, which is, it's plastic with rows of long cylindrical lenses. And what the lenses do is when you look at it, they bend the light um, so that both of your eyes can see a slightly different image. Um, it can look like it can move, so it can flip between one image and another image. Um, it can gradually transition. Um, it can look like it's animated, or it can look like it's uh, like it's moving, like it's popping out. Yes. Um, and the thing that really excites me about lenticular photography is it's. Uh, the way that it kind of plays with um, the way that you can look at something. Um, lenticular images are inherently unstable. They change depending on where you're looking at them from, as well as um, like how you're moving past them. I think lenticulars really actively engage that act of seeing and of looking in the audience. They, act, they, they ask the audience to look actively. Um, working in public, it's, it's generally my favorite place to work. I'm particularly excited about making work that can be seen and understood and, and giggled at and squealed about, not just by people in the gallery, although that's fantastic too, but by little kids walking with their grandparents down the sidewalk, by people in a car who might not expect to see anything unusual, um, and they drive past in the morning and they see this image and it's, it's not quite a video screen, but it looks like it might be a video screen because it's very bright and it moves. Um, yeah, so I, I think that idea of something unusual and unstable and just a little bit, people, people probably, unless they're familiar with the project, won't exactly know how it happens. And I like that element of, of mystery in my work. Um, but I think that in public, just that element of mystery is, I think, particularly, particularly satisfying.